Hi, today I'm going to be looking at the engine under the passenger seat. Um, to get to that, first off we need to take off the centre console. So there's two little screws in here that we do to take that off. Um, there's a little one here, just need to undo. So that's that one, put that somewhere safe. And there's another one just tucked in here, again just hidden under that. Very easy just to undo those by hand. And then this console just lifts off. Now I've taken the centre console off, there are three clips here that are just holding this seat in place. They're hidden under the carpet. You've got one just here. Just pull that one back. And then you've got two under this front piece of carpet here. And the other one's just tucked a little bit further forward. Now we've undone the clips, I'm just going to push the seat forward. And then, very easy, the seat just lifts up. And then you can push it back. And there you can access, you've got the oil, dipstick, and various other parts of the engine that you need to access from this side. Um, unfortunately my conversion doesn't allow me to push the seat right back so I'm just going to prop that up so I can access the engine more freely. So now I'm just going to check the oil. We've got the dipstick here. You need to be careful with these because they can be quite brittle and break. So I'm just going to gently ease that out. Wipe off any oil that's on there to start with. Then we'll be looking at the gauge on the end here. So that's low for empty and this level is for full. So we're just going to pop it back in the hole it came from. A little bit stiff going in, so just ease it in gently. Put it all the way to the bottom. Pull it back out again. And you can see here that my oil tank is full.